Good morning, this is Pastor Pete Seifert from Northminster Presbyterian Church in Tucson, Arizona. And it's Friday, September 11th, 2020, and this is your devotional morning update. And uh, I've just been just reveling in the wonderful weather the last couple of days. It's been cooler, it's been, we've been able to be outside. Um, I hope that today is another great day like that, especially for you, you've made it to Friday. And of course, it is uh, a Friday, but it's also a September 11th. And you may remember what you were doing 19 years ago. If, you were, if you're younger than that, then you'll have to ask someone else what happened. But I remember clearly on September 11th, 20, 2001, uh, it was a brand new shiny pastor had just been ordained a couple months prior. Uh, Lori and I were living in Longmont, Colorado, serving a church there. And it was quite a shock. I uh, got up in the morning, it was like normal, um, got ready, went downstairs, uh, got in my car, turned on the radio, and then suddenly I figured out there was something happening. And so I went back inside and uh, turned on the TV with Lori and we watched just with, with horror what was going on in New York City and then Washington DC and then in that field in Pennsylvania. And so today we remember those lives that were lost and then also maybe the loss of innocence for a lot of people and for our country and for uh, the world because until that time um, things just work differently. Things have been different in, uh, since 2001. And now it's 2020 and we're hoping that this day, this year, uh, doesn't make anything worse. But again, we look at the news and we see things just are, are uh, just hard. There are hard things happening. There are wildfires going on around our country, especially in the West. We know people in California and Oregon and Colorado. Um, we uh, hear bad things economically about what, what's going on in our community. Old Tucson, which is a certainly a symbolic place of importance uh, to our area and to our economy uh, and to our pride, is closing and we don't know what the future plans are going to be for that. But also I've been learning also uh, that because of the economic downturn and the effects on jobs and especially for those who are suffering poverty, that there is eviction happening, uh, especially among, um, among those who've lost jobs. And so this is a very difficult time. And we can respond in lots of different ways. I pray that we can respond, though, in faith, trusting that God will guide us. Uh, for those of us who are in a position to assist and help and encourage that we would do that. And for those of us that are really suffering at a time, for us to know the care and the love of Jesus Christ. In Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10, it says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Notice there that it, says, it doesn't say that a scientific uh, study or more knowledge or learning more or reading more books is the beginning of understanding or wisdom or knowledge. No, it's the fear of the Lord. And this isn't to mean that we're to be afraid of God, although when we think about who God is compared to who we are, maybe we should be afraid or maybe more afraid than we sometimes are. But really it means respect. It means acknowledging who God is in light of who we are, that fearing God, that that is the beginning point of wisdom, that knowledge of the Holy One leads us to understanding. So at times like this, are you driven to look at the topics and to try and solve the problems that are around us? Or are you driven to God himself? I would acknowledge and confess that sometimes I try to just read more and learn more and then that way I can get more knowledge and I can solve the problem myself. Except when the problems are too big, then what? Well, God's word says, turn to God. Turn to his word. Turn to uh, an encouraging friend who follows God and knows Christ. Because in these moments, we might know that God's purpose for us is to find joy, to find his joy, that his joy even would be made complete in us through the love that we share, acknowledging and knowing our Savior. Jesus came into this world to seek and to save the lost. And maybe you feel lost these days. Maybe you see people who are lost around you and you want to help and encourage them and you're lost knowing how to help the lost. Well, God will help us. 
God will send his spirit. God will give us wisdom and understanding. So I pray that on this Friday you are uh, encouraged, that you are hopeful because of what God will do. And I pray that 19 years from now we'll, we'll look back on 2020 and realize how God was opening us up for his greater purposes, for a, a greater knowledge and understanding in a wider way of who he is and how he's called us to live and to love in the name and spirit of Christ. God bless you. Have a wonderful Friday and a wonderful weekend.